This shallow and gently flowing river is a paradise for some. When the rod is set up and I'm standing in the water, I'm totally focused. There's just the river and me. I lose track of time, I forget to eat or drink. It's a couple hours of absolute bliss. Peter Eri is a veteran of fly fishing, the major league in the angling world. Like many of his fellow anglers, he often comes to Slovenia, to the river Socha and its tributaries. You see a lot of French people and Italians because the border's so close, plus a lot of Germans. They all dream of a particular fish, the marble trout. It's one of the largest species of trout and close to extinction. 18 years ago, the Tolmin Fishing Club here began breeding marble trout. It had almost disappeared due to mixing with artificially introduced brook trout. Over 200,000 trout are now returned to the wild every year as eggs or minnows. Some make it to full-size maturity, like this 22 kilo specimen. The amount of marble genes in the trout population are rising and this trend is significant. And we think that if the nat nat natural selection will help us, we are on a good way to save and uh, conserve the marble trout. The marble trout is difficult to catch, whether with a hook or on film. The fish farm gives us a rare chance to see them. Grayling are also bred here, likewise an endangered species. The fish farm in Tolmin now attracts visitors from all over the world. It currently has a couple of Swedish interns. This is the only place I, we know that they are uh, farming uh, grayling. Not just eggs, but they do uh, the uh, whole process, you know, to the, to, up to the fishes. In Sweden we just do the eggs. The project is funded with fees paid by sports anglers. Fly fishing in the Socha isn't cheap. A license costs 50 euros per day. The money raised just about covers the costs, and club chairman Lucian Reyets would like to expand it. It would be good if the Slovenian government provided funds like in Italy, especially for the research. Okay, Slovenia is poor. What can we do? <laughs> Fishing tourism provides a living for many people living near the river. Branko Gasparin rents out rooms to anglers, but his main income is from making lures, artificial bait. They're works of art in their own right and often custom made. People have always tried to make replica flies to fool the fish. The first flies were made back in the 15th century. Today we've got so good that the fish are taken in. And no wonder. This fly recently won him a prize. It emits tiny bubbles of air as it bobs up to the surface, all too tantalizing for a hungry trout. Fly fishing is an art that takes time, patience, and practice to perfect. You have to master your technique and also know the waters extremely well. Eric Saez has made a profession out of his passion. The Frenchman now guides visiting compatriots to the best spots here in Slovenia. Most of the fish are returned to the water because the men are primarily interested in the challenge of outwitting and defeating the fish. But the marble trout is always a very special experience. I go crazy when I see a marble trout. It's astounding, mysterious and beautiful and strong. It really is the Slovenian fish par excellence. So taking care of the marble trout is not so much about preserving the past as investing in the future.